Hey yo, what's up everybody? Good day to you all ladies and gents. Welcome back to Matrix Investing, the number one YouTube channel that is dedicated towards giving you education based on investing in capital markets. Now in this video, we're going to look at the debt to equity ratio, its contribution to investors, as well as its formula and how we can use it on an actual company. Now, if this is the very first time you're watching our videos, we advise you to check out our previous videos so that you can have a better understanding of what exactly we're teaching. If you also find this video of much help, we then ask that you help us out by liking this video, subscribing to our channel in case you haven't, and hit that notification bell so that YouTube gets to notify you each time we get to upload videos into the platform. Now, with that said, ladies and gents, let's get down to business. So the debt to equity ratio is a metric that is attained after taking total liabilities of a company and dividing it by its equity. Therefore, when performing analysis on a company, head on to the annual report of that particular year you're looking at, go to its statement of financial position or balance sheet, then take its total liabilities and divide it by the total capital available for you to get the debt to equity ratio. Now this ratio is used to figure out the ability of a company in raising itself up. It is used as a measurement of trying to figure out as to whether a company finances its operations by either debt or equity as its major source of finance. Therefore, if the company has a huge amount of debt in comparison to capital, it isn't advisable to invest in such a business. This is because businesses with very large debt tend to have large amounts of interest payments due to its payables. This causes the business to have larger expenses as interest payments, which results to the business making very little in profit or even making losses, of which we as investors are not looking for in when it comes to investing in such businesses. So it is also used to figure out the ability of the shareholder's equity in paying out all its debt during tough financial times. So then this ratio also helps an investor understand the risk level of the business by looking at if the business has got the ability to pay out all its debt using its equity and if it can remain with enough equity even after paying out all the debts. If so, the business has got lower risk levels and would guarantee the investor that the business can't undergo difficult financial conditions due to presence of debt. So when performing stock analysis, the smaller this ratio is, the better a company is as it indicates that the company is financed more by equity than by debt. This ratio should be less than 0.8 to indicate that it is a good ratio, with exceptions of financial institutions such as banks. So a smaller D to E ratio is what needs to be seen in a well-performing company. The ratio should be at most 0.8 or lower than that, which indicates that for every one shilling of equity, the business has at most 80 cents of debt to pay. However, for institutions such as banks, the ratio could reach as high as 9, meaning that for every one shilling of equity, the bank is 9 shillings in debt. But the bank can still do well financially and could still be picked up as a good business to invest in so then the cause to this we shall explain in the next video therefore ladies and gents this is the formula to finding the debt to equity ratio we take the total liabilities and simply divide it by the shareholders equity if you want to check this out in percentage you could also multiply it by 100 and whatever result you get is the percentage of debt that is available in the total equity so then therefore let's go see how this is applied in a company that is listed in the Dar es Salaam stock exchange anyways ladies and gents so here we all are at the toll gases limited annual report as of 2019 and the main objective to opening this annual report is to find the debt to equity ratio so we might as well just get on to it so i'm gonna just head on to the statement of financial position right there and we can see this beautiful statement of financial position or balance sheet we can see the assets the current assets non-current assets there's the total assets and then the part that is of concern to us is this one the equities and liabilities section right over here so we can see equities up top here's the total equity 
and then we can see the non-current liabilities and the current liabilities and right down here we can see the total equity and liabilities so how am i going to calculate the debt to equity ratio i'm gonna just pull out my calculator right there and i'm gonna take i'm gonna take the total equity and liabilities and i'm gonna subtract it from the total equity and the difference i'm gonna get there is obviously going to be the total liabilities or you could just take the non-current liabilities add it with the current liabilities and the summation you get there you just divide it by the total equity so i'm just gonna stick on with the first option because it's much easier so i'm gonna take 33 billion seven hundred and thirty million three hundred and thirty thousand remember there are three zeros that have been omitted here and i'm gonna subtract this by the total equity which is 21 billion seven hundred and one million five hundred and twenty three thousand and what i'm gonna get there is 12 billion twenty eight million eight hundred and seven thousand of which this this right here is the total liability so i'm just going to take that difference and i'm going to divide it by the total equity right over here and that should give us 0.554288888 so then technically the ratio is 0.55 which is a good ratio considering our standard our standard is 0.8 we can see that this is lower than the 0.8 mark which is good this just means that the business has got very little debt in comparison to its capital or if or this could also mean that for every one shilling for every one shilling that is available in the business as equity there is 55 cents worth of debt that's supposed to be paid which is a very good ratio which is there's a very good difference right there or we could multiply this by a hundred so that we can figure out the result as a percentage so then that's just 55 percent so it means of all the total equity that is available right there if we were to use that equity to pay out all the debt we just have to use 55 percent of the equity so then that leaves us with a good 45 percent of equity available in the business which is also a very good mark which is also a very good indicator so as far as debt to equity ratio is concerned with this business i could say that this business is pretty much very good it pretty much has very little debt and that is a feature of a well-performing company so with that said ladies and gents thank you all so 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 much for watching this video to the very end if this video has been useful to you we then ask that you help us by hitting the thumbs up button you know liking this video subscribing to our channel and hitting that notification bell so that youtube gets to notify you each time we'll upload more videos like these into the platform share this video to your buddies sharing is caring and knowledge is power so that they can also benefit from this video just like you if you're on social media platforms that is instagram facebook and twitter don't forget to check us out there our account name is matrix investing the links to our social media accounts are in the description below we provide content related to investing in the Tanzanian capital markets on a daily basis so don't forget to follow like share and comment if you also have questions or opinions to contribute you can also do so in the comment section or you can dm us on our social media accounts we're only a dm away so anyways thank you all so 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 much and have a great day